Donald Trump and to Fox News and everybody who thinks they have it together, you are enabling that to happen. Shut the fuck up and get with the program. We will not let you kill us. We will not ever, ever, ever. Thank you. Speaking of President, in one of his last moves in office, President Obama commuted all but four months of the remaining prison sentence of Chelsea Manning, the whistleblower and Army intelligence analyst convicted of a 2010 leak that revealed American military and diplomatic activities across the world. As reported by the New York Times, quote, the decision by Mr. Obama rescued Miss Manning, who twice tried to kill herself last year from an uncertain future as a transgender woman incarcerated at the men's military prison at Fort Leavenworth, Kansas. She has been jailed for nearly seven years, and her 35-year sentence was by far the longest punishment ever imposed in the United States for a leak conviction. Even people who leaked actual military secrets, including General Petraeus, have received sentences of no more than one to three years. The date of Chelsea's liberation coincides with Idahot, which turns this decision into a much broader acknowledgement of the situation faced by trans prisoners in U.S. jails. Today is, of course, a victory for Chelsea, but also for all of us in many countries who supported her and benefited from her courageous whistleblowing. That would be the international women and LGBTQ movements, the anti-war and anti-racist movements, the movements of whistleblowers, war veterans, refuseniks, and everyone who stands for justice. Our rally today coincides with Chelsea Manning events around the world, including Auckland, New Zealand, Israel, Berlin, Dublin, Ireland, London and Manchester, Germany, and in the U.S., Boston, Berkeley, Chicago, Portland, Philadelphia, Oklahoma City, where she was from, Seattle, and more. Pentagon Papers whistleblower Daniel Ellsberg wanted to be here today, but sends his thanks and support to each of you. He's on deadline with his publisher for his forthcoming book. We appreciated Daniel for representing Chelsea in the San Francisco Pride Parade when she was named Honorary Grand Marshal in 2014. We also want to thank several organizations who were critical to keeping Chelsea's injustice on the front burner for seven years. Many who are sponsors of today's rally. Courage to Resist, Queer Strike, World Can't Wait, Veterans for Peace Chapter 69 in San Francisco, and the former Chelsea Manning Support Network, which we're glad had to close because she's free today. Yay! To begin our celebration, please welcome Lori Nairn from Queer Strike. Make some noise! Oh, and Code Pink San Francisco, of course! Okay, so it's great to see you all out today. We are so thrilled with Chelsea Manning finally being free. We saw her first piece of pizza on Twitter today. And that was a thrill. It made the day a new day. As Gary said, Chelsea was seven years in prison, tortured and abused for exposing the U.S. government and other countries' war crimes and corruption. We must defend whistleblowers. We have a responsibility to defend whistleblowers, especially now under Trump. She's out because of an international movement which has been organizing at the grassroots to get her out. And the list of countries Gary referenced is only the beginning of the list that we have heard from. And the list of people in all the different movements are only the beginning of the list of groups that need to come together now. Our group, Pierce Queer Strike, and the Payday Bits Network 
have organized actions since Chelsea was first imprisoned. We wrote and pressed the major national NGO organizations in this country to support her, and not one of them responded because they were so tied up in the pro-military, democratic, and the, the Democrats and the 1%, they didn't want to do anything for Chelsea in 2010 and 11. We work with the Chelsea Manning Support Net Network, who was in direct contact with Chelsea, a hard-working group of veterans, refuseniks, anti-war, young and old. Their action alerts and web pages gave us direction about what to do and what work was needed. But the first time that the LGBT community in this city came out in full support of Chelsea was when the San Francisco Pride Board nominated her as Grand Marshal and then the pro-military board rescinded that decision. We went crazy with rage. There were months of protests. There were city hall actions, there were flash mobs, there were town hall meetings. And this was the three months before her court martial. And the board never rescinded. But the media was on the had a spotlight on us. There were thousands and thousands of media interviews. These are all major victories for the movement. It's how you organize every day. We have the largest grassroots contingent for Chelsea that Pride had ever seen that March. And it received honorary awards. Then the contingent heard that there were military recruiters at the festival, and many rushed over and surrounded that booth and drove them away. We said as queer people we are against war and occupation. We don't want the equal right to kill. So we organized a slate and overthrew the, the Pride Board, members that were bad um, through this whole process. And that's how we won in 2014. And Pride also passed a resolution against military recruiters being allowed at the festival. Hearing news from San Francisco contingents in this fight met more prides across the country, March for Chelsea. Her determination gave courage to many of us, in particular in the LGBTQ movement. While in prison, Chelsea won her rights as a transgender woman to hormone therapy, then transgender reassignment surgery, helping to set a precedent for transgender people in prison. She has strengthened the visibility and the power of the transgender community. She put the whistleblowers on the map. Edward Snowden acknowledged she encouraged him to do what he did. So, I'm going to turn the mic over to Courage to Resist. But just one last point. There's a lot more movement organizing to do, and we all know it. High on the list is defending WikiLeaks, who made public Chelsea's disclosures. The U.S. Attorney General Sessions has just declared the arrest of the WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange is now a priority, at a time when Trump is making torture legal. But tonight we're going to celebrate Chelsea. We're not having pizza, but we're having cake. Thank you, Lori and Aaron from Queer Strike. Next up, please give a rousing welcome to our next speaker. Jeff Patterson is project director of Courage to Resist, 
excuse me, Courage to Resist, a Gulf War military objector and co-founder and executive director of the former Chelsea Manning Support Network. Jeff Patterson, everybody. Woo! All right, friends. Um, if I start uh, tearing up, uh, forgive me, I've been uh, tearing up throughout the day. Uh, seven years ago, uh, when Chelsea was arrested, uh, this... Uh, community right here in San Francisco is at the forefront of not just defending her, but that speaking up that somebody, somebody somewhere would speak up for what we thought at that point, uh, you know, was a young uh, gay person in, in the U.S. Army. And we were used to doing that because when the Iraq War started, the first soldier in the U.S. Army to stand up and to refuse to fight Stephen Funk was part of our community right here in San Francisco and we stood up then and created a movement and got Stephen Funk out of prison. I, you know, I can go through all the things that Chelsea Manning contributed to the Arab Spring, uh, to the U.S. bases not being allowed to remain in Iraq. I could talk about how she was tortured for uh, nearly three years, uh, a thousand years, or a thousand thousand days in solitary that seemed like uh, I'm sure a thousand years to her and then through our somewhat surprising victory um, the mainstream media uh, did not contribute uh, to our win the, the Democratic Party did not contribute to our win uh, you know even the mainstream uh, LGBT groups in Washington DC they didn't contribute to our win so you know by a process of elimination who convinced a sitting president to let Chelsea Manning go? And there's actually no other answer but the people right here. And we were working hard on this case for quite a while. And it was, it was a hard slog at the beginning. And then when the, the Pride Board uh, gave Chelsea that honor, at first I was worried that nobody would even pay attention. It was like, all right, it's another another piece of paper. It's a little, and then of course the best thing that could have happened is they rescinded that honor. But that was a turning point for the campaign. If we did not respond uh, to that as a community, Chelsea would be in prison today. I'm I'm certain. But because this community stood up and rallied and made our contingents ten times as large. And Chelsea's uh, Chelsea's uh, cause ten times as big in our in our public conscience that kept our support network going. It, it, that was a launching point, and we were able to go on from there to raise two million dollars to pay for her legal defense, to have hundreds of rallies, hundreds of uh, contingents and pride parades around the world, and that's and that's what turned the day, and that's why Chelsea Manning is it left prison this morning, twenty seven years early. Because it's San Francisco. So, so free Chelsea Manning. Right. It's now Chelsea Manning, comma free. Yeah, yeah. Free. yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you, Jeff, for all of your great work in the last seven years. Thank you. Yeah. I'd next like to introduce April Walsh from Get Up Street Theater. Welcome. Thank you. Good to see you. We are Get Up Street Theater, and we dance for justice. That means dancing for Chelsea. For Chelsea, we danced the song, They Don't Care About Us, to highlight the way that she's imprisoned for exposing the crimes of the powerful, rather than them being in prison. We also chose that song in order to highlight the plight of transgender and gender nonconforming people in prison. And the song has special meaning tonight because thanks to you and us and millions of people around the world, we made them care. We made Obama care. And we're not going to stop protesting until all transgender people, all whistleblowers, are able to walk free from prison. Hit it! We direct your attention to the Chelsea Manning Flash Mob Dancers at Castro and Market. I'm not going to try to walk over here. With you. 